In today's video, we're going to take a look at a counter trend trade decision. Now, the trend trade setups are definitely going to be higher probability than the counter trend, but when I have time and price come together, they're actually worth looking at, especially for something like a reversion to the mean. So the stock that we're looking at is uh, XOM, and this is a weekly chart. And what I did here was I ran all the extensions of the prior swings and projections of other swings and came up with a couple of clusters of support. And the first area comes in at 5866 to 59.53. We're on it. And uh, the second area is 5677 to 5734. So as long as we hold above one of these two areas, I'm interested in taking buy triggers. Now I posted the, um, you know, my YouTube video on triggers and how to use them. If you haven't seen that before um, and you need a copy of it, just let me know and I'll, I'll list it. But bottom line, uh, not only do you have the price support, you know, and this is where moves tend to terminate at extensions, which is, you know, we're extended down here. And um, I also have timing factors. Okay, so basically I took a bunch of these prior swings and then projected from the last high for the next possible low. And we have timing coming in at the same time. So um, as long as we continue to hold above this area, I am going to look for some buy triggers uh, for a little bit of a counter trend trade in XOM.